All right, recording this right after I did the Snark Pit one. Uh, here's Stockyard, um, which is actually one of my uh, like all-time favorite maps in this game. Potentially my number one, having recently replayed it. Uh, this one really connects with me, just in terms of action and like you know the item placement. Um, made by someone named Brett Johnson. Now I'm gonna get this out of the way that this is one of the earliest maps created for the game, as far as I'm aware. Uh, famously in the Half-Life Alpha that was leaked a few years ago, uh, this is actually in there, almost like it is in the final game. Very little changed overall. Um, the thing about this map is that they had created it before, um, like, you know, the enemies and, like, you know, the, like, a lot of the deathmatch functionality was even implemented into Half-Life. So they had actually ported this into, uh, Quake first, and I might even bring up a screenshot that's been revealed of this map in Quake. Um, and they tested it there, and then when things were a bit more complete, then they they brought it back under the name where it was called Where's DM. And it was actually Mark Laidlaw, or Laidlaw, however I fucking pronounce his name because I'm an idiot, uh, who suggested the name Stockyard. So yeah, this is a map with a bit of history, as you'll see. I'm saying, well, we'll save the warehouse for, like, part of the um, map for a bit later. First. We're gonna go into the one of the two courtyards. This is a very somewhat symmetrical map. So behind these crates, you're gonna notice there's some good items. Make use of these. You can even get on the crates though. And as from here, you can get a shotgun. Very helpful. If you go on this one, there's actually a lot of there's an RPG and a lot of nice items, but obviously more time for people to be shooting at you. Same with this uh, set of crates over here. So I feel like my Input's a little laggy. Uh, ironically, because I'm not even connected to like, online or anything. It could just be my keyboard dying out. Let me make sure. Plugged in. Alright. So yeah. Here is the one little part here, which you can get through in multiple ways. You get a charger there. And a revolver, which could be useful up there. Keep that in mind. And now, obviously, this leads into the other courtyard we'll get to. If you go this way, you can get a chance for a health charger. Uh, get another way to get... this. But These both lead into the warehouse. Just uh, two different... It forks off. So don't be surprised. It doesn't really matter too much which one you take. Now, this will lead to the courtyard as well. But first, you want to take the... I'm going to show off this elevator here. If you ride it up all the way, you get to one of the two um, machine gun emplacements of the map. This one has a crossbow as well. This thing can be really effective. It's don't discount it, even though like you know usually you wouldn't want to stay placed. Get a few quick kills and then get moving because people are gonna probably notice that right away. Now, if you go to this room, you got something interesting. Back to this map's uh, development. This was a prototype version of the HEV charger that they decided to just leave in here as a little Easter egg. Obviously, can't use it. It's just a prop, but it's just funny to think, you know. So this room's got some interesting shit in it, though. If you jump up here, get a shotgun. Get some health. And we're gonna go down here in a second, because there's something, uh, there's a air vent. If you, do, like, time it just right, you can get up here to get some nice HTV charging unit things, the jigs. You can also go down here to, for a quick exit into the, the hallway we were in earlier. But if you go through here, um... By the way, this is a nice little camping spot. If you think someone, the people are going to be coming through here, just sit here in the dark and use a revolver. Nice easy kills, but again, don't stick around too long. If you go down here, you can break through and have an easy way to get this uh, little piece of uh, charger ammo here, or charger ammo. Um, atomic ammo, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if, none of these crates, as far as I'm aware, you can break. There might be one or two that you can break in this map, but I'm pretty certain that it's not, like, there's not something that you can actively do. Moving on to the next courtyard, similar thing. Got some nice items around here. Got some RPG ammo. Got some clips. And an SMG, which is helpful if you have some grenades. I mean, the, the SMG's grenade ammo is always kind of helpful, but you know what I mean. Get up here, do a tricky jump to get some nice uh, med kits. And here's that other area we were at. This one, to get on top, you have to climb. Um, this one isn't quite as useful because you can see here, there's a door here. Um, and this is uh, like, this leads from there to there. So don't, don't stick this one, especially get a few kills and get the hell out. Um, if you think, uh, you know, I want to lay some traps with like, you know, some of the explosives, you go ahead and do that. 
I'm just gonna show him off. Sorry, postal guy. I don't mind like hurting you so abruptly. And here is where one of the main hallways into the warehouse. There was the other one we started in. Now there's a lot to unpack here, no pun intended. Um, so I'm gonna try to be thorough. On this side, you got up. If you come up here, you got a shotgun. Jump over here, get some claymores. Um, so, uh, then from here is a, one of the ma another one of the maps. Um, revolvers, and you can see it has a lot of ammo there. So good stuff, good stuff all around. Get up here for some ammo. You can actually jump on the lights here, and those ones too, which I'll show up in a second. Now, if you want to get up here, is the final little area with some. Uh, SMG grenades, always good, especially from up here. You can shoot them for a maximum damage. And then get up here. And here you can get onto the lights as I brought up earlier. And you, it's pretty easy to jump onto these if your t jumping skills are good. Uh, from there you might need the um, long jump which can be found here, but I think it's possible if you're, you're really good with your, like, you know, momentum to just jump without. So. Let's start over here again, just to keep things simple and I don't get too lost. Come back here for a nice hiding spot, though not much in the way of, like, actual items. This looks like you can jump up, but you can't. But you can open this for a lot of satchels. Um, get, get those and use them to your advantage. So if you want to get that RPG, you're going to have to jump up. There's a shotgun, which, you know, sometimes people get in your way. I need you out of the way. Sorry, heavy weapons guy. Um, but yeah, grab that. It's a little bit tricky at first to jump up there, but here you go, you get some atomic ammo, you can get up there, get up here, bam, gauze. And you can use that to get um, onto the windows and like, or windows, lights and stuff like that too if you need it. Also you can get up to here, you can basically dominate the map. If you're really good with the gauze jumping here, you're gonna dominate, you're just gonna bring the pain. Now, and you can use them to obviously skip around, but you can obviously, you just use the, um, crates as they were designed to get around too. it's possible. I'm gonna show you where the long jump is in a second. Get up here real quick. And uh, yeah, there's some grenades up here too, by the way. So you can hide up there, especially if you're on a busy server. People probably ain't gonna be looking at the top there too much. But yeah, here you go, the final little thing to note. Here is the long jump, and you just gotta use the use key to get out. And there you go. Really good map, once you got a lot of people playing around. Like again, I Believe it or not, as I already said, oh, eight people is what I recommend. But even then, you're not—you can't really go wrong with a lot of people in this map. There's a lot of good items. There's a lot of like you know explosives, strong weapons. You're gonna have a good time. One of my favorite maps. Yeah, see, especially if you're playing with the bots, they're probably gonna immediately start shooting at you. But then again, smart players are gonna probably want to look up their ASAP anyway. So. I mean, I'm sticking around quite a bit anyway, just because JK Body is not the most attentive. But, you know, a smart player is, like, immediately going to see those bullets flying and try to shoot you down, so... Be smart. Well! Yeah, obviously I never need to tell you, too, if you're going to use a health charger... Any map, just be cautious of what you're doing. Lay some random claymores, too, here. You might get some cheap kills. Well, that kind of goes with any map, anyway. Well, that actually didn't work out at all. I'm genuinely shocked. But, you know... Your average human player is probably going to see what you're doing and blow them up like themselves. But especially if it's like a 32 player round, then you know, the people aren't going to be paying attention as much. Yeah, these are some good hiding spots too if you need to like calm down for a bit. They're not cheap though because you know, it's, a, it's pretty obvious someone's there. People are going to be paying attention. So, you know, don't, don't stick around the crates too much, especially because um, all the good items are like a lot of the good weapons have been placed there anyway. You can always be an asshole and put that there, though. Well, yeah, you can always do that. This is what I mean. Get up there, get up there, because people are going to be firing at you. You don't got breathing space in this map, which is part of the appeal. Yeah. Yeah, definitely know when to run away in the warehouse area here, because things are going to get a little bit intense. Especially if you're just pistol starting. As you always will in this uh, game, believe it or not, in deathmatch. But you know what I mean. Just don't don't hang around if you don't get the weapons for it. But you yeah, see what I mean? Get those grenades down there. Use your environment to your like you know advantage always. Especially from here, you can hide and like you know get some easy 
and quick grenade kills if you know what you're doing. Satchels are really good here, honestly. One of the best maps for the satchel, in my opinion. I got bonked, wow. Hey! Have a present. Delivery. Have some more. More samples. Samples for everyone. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, take him. Take him. I'm offering him all day. What are you doing? <laughs> I love it. And yeah, I won. I'm actually genuinely surprised. One of my favorites, though. Play this one alongside Bounce and uh, Rabbit Core.